Like, I legit have no expectations, really, as to what this port is going to play like. I have only booted it up to see to see whether or not the thing will actually play. Um, apart from that, I, I've only seen screenshots of parts here and there. I really need I, a fucking Starbucks I don't Jonah. know to what extent it has been modified or what bits have been cut. So this is going to be a complete vanilla experience, fresh from my mind going in, and you're going to be watching it firsthand. All the madness. Ah, and to make things even more interesting, because I've got to finish these. Um, <laughs> every time that I die, I have basically made up. Um, I've got a pack of these Trinidad Scorpion Chili Crisps, really spicy. Um, so I've basically said every time I'm die, I die in this game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat one of these as well, just for extra spice. But uh, there we go. I'm still a little bit kind of unsure how this is gonna run, so you're just gonna have to bear with me. Yeah, here we go. If I need to make any adjustments to volume, then please obviously let me know in the chat. Uh, I believe this is the NTSC version. Buzz Monkey Software. Oh my god, would you look at that. I really need a fucking Starbucks, Jonah. So, right from the get-go, I can already tell that there's a big difference with this. And the big difference is that there is no, like, raining outside the mansion menu screen like in the all the other ports of this game. You've just essentially got a boat out in the middle of the Mediterranean. Whether or not that changes dynamically throughout the game, depending on how far progress-wise you've made, is another thing, but we'll see. Oh, wow. Okay, so we don't even get really much of a backdrop. It's just a decal. Uh, extras, we don't have any at the moment. So what have we got? Volume settings, display, subtitles. Should I put subtitles on or off? I think on, just because people are going to be using sound effects. Widescreen mode, of course. Otherwise, we get um, wide Lara. Okay, so we've got progressive mode on as well to make everything look a bit nicer. Game options, combat reticules, helper buttons, all the usual sorts of stuff. Vibration on, controller, start a new game. Okay. I've not actually seen any diff difficulty mode options yet, so whether or not that's a thing in this particular port or not, I have no idea. This port absolutely ruined Thailand for me from an architectural perspective. Oh, I look forward to it. Oh no, there appears to only be one difficulty in this port. Okay, interesting, interesting. You never have to be cold, my Lara. It's interesting how they've made this particular ex like optional previously on Tomb Raider thing a um, mandatory cutscene. In this particular version, because in all the other ones, you have to go to Steve the extras room to see oh this. Oh, God! If you want to, or if you choose to. It was you. You were the queen of Atlantis. Wow. There she is. Where is my mother? What's going to be interesting is to see basically oh, how how you go from the port, the PS2 Where ports of Legend and Anniversary are actually quite good. Um, and then to this, it's going to be a, it's going to be quite the different uh, different style there. <laughs> Steve! Holy shit! We got 111 people watching this as well. That's incredible. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Is my mother? <laughs> the voice commands are a bit loud. Oh, okay. Um, let's turn those down a bit. Not too sure why that's... There we go. Ah, then it loops back to the actual mansion exploding still. My mother. I'm just going to turn those down just a smidge, because otherwise it's going to completely dominate the gameplay. And everything else. <laughs> right, here we go. She said the thing. Ah, yeah, this is the actual game, by the way. If you couldn't tell. Oh, wow. The, the lack of emotion on her face already is just... Oh, God, this is so slow. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. There's a distinct... There's a distinct lag surrounding the, uh, the controls of this. And is that supposed to be fire? Are you, are you telling me that's the best they could do with fire? A fucking... An animated GIF. <laughs> That's incredible. Okay, so I can go back. 
Can I sequence break? Nope, they've they've thought about that. They thought about me players wanting to go back. There's no music either, which is strange. No, that's that's not an emulator issue. I'm pretty sure that is 100% what the fire looks like in, on an actual PS2. Someone want to confirm, just in case. There's no music either. Okay, jittery textures, awesome. So far, the dramatic tension has been completely, completely zapped out, hasn't it? Is there actually supposed to be music? Because if there is, I can't hear it. Oh, now I can hear it. I really need a fucking Starbucks oh, the lag. This is going to be part. What's the what's the what part of this is the emulator causing? And at the other on the other hand, it's going to be what what is down to the actual port of this game. But oh my god, oh my god. Okay, here we go. Enter combat. Oh, okay. So where's the grapple hook? <laughs> wow. Okay. Fuck. Right, so the grapple hook appears to not exist in this particular port. Okay, I gotcha. Oh my lord. Look at this. This can't be the emulator doing this. This can't be just the emulator. This- I- I'm, I- I refuse to believe that this is the emulator's handiwork. Because the PS2 emulator is a really fucking good emulator. Oh, hang on. Okay, can't quite jump onto- Oh, okay. Nope. Okay, no. I died from a slight fall into <laughs> Oh my god, this is gonna this is gonna be the this is gonna be the death of me, isn't it? This fucking port. Here we go. Right, let's try that again. Okay, so that time it worked, okay. No, that's not what I wanted to Wow. Right. I promise. I'm I'm not exaggerating how badly I'm playing at this. This is just how bad this is to play. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, so now I've died twice. So, I did say, didn't I? Every time I die, Let's sink one of these down. Okay, here we go. Pretty big one. Look at that. I feel oh. stronger now. Oh, <laughs> mm. there's that heat. Oh my god. Okay. Oh fucking hell. Woohoo! Oh, I can't save Jennifer Mack. I'm sorry. What the fuck? Yes, the textures of the box just disappeared. Oh, I've got the hiccups now. Oh, god damn it. Uh, here we go. Now I have the grapple! Ah, okay, they've swapped it around. Okay. This looks like an extra part of the mansion. I don't remember there being an extra corridor um, after doing that in... Because the, the floor falls from underneath you in the original game, doesn't it? And then you just continue on. And then you're in the main hall. Pretty sure. That's how it goes down, isn't it? Hmm. Blue Ferret, thank you very much there for the resub. And Gimmick Guns, thank you very much for the five bits and 20 bits earlier from Mad Rat. Thank you. Ah, oh, right. The heat has dissipated from those punishing crisps. Jem Millward herself is here. Yay. Hmm. 
Sorry if I didn't see your message. I hope you're doing okay, by the way, Neen. I did ask you how you were. It has been a while since you've um, graced my streams. I hope work, I mean, because your, your work is doing, doing well. Look at this. Look at this! This is... I, I'm, in, I'm in awe at how basic this is. Dude, Compared to how good oh, the PS2 version of Anniversary looks, this is... Oh my god, this is basic. Okay, cool. Don't quite see how I could have avoided that, but never mind. No, that's not right. Run back to the fucking start. Try again. Oh, no. Okay, cool. Prologue done. Busted. Thank you for the four bits there, Gem. I should speed run this. Bloody hell. My father died in a tragic skiing accident when I was young. Oh, oh my, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This looks horrendous. She looks dead. Oh my god. Even this. More. Oh god. It's like, oh, 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 it's, it's ugly in so many ways. I can't even begin to describe. <laughs> and they... I warned you that conveniently undiscovered islands would be scarce. What is this? And obviously they couldn't, they couldn't fit the, the video call part of this in. So they just put it as a Skype. Yeah, profile picture chat. There we go. Job done. What is this? The amount of motion blur that's applied to this as well. Her boobs are iridescent. Yeah, basically. She's pondering her orbs, if you know what I mean. I don't know why her boobs are shiny. Considering the state of this game, you would speed run the, um, probably like three minutes from jumping to the right wall. Yeah, probably. You could break it quite easily. This is... This is ridiculous. This is... This is the most ugly game I think I have ever played. That wasn't intentionally ugly. Considering... Oh, okay. And now we're here! <laughs> oh my god, I can't even with this. I can't even with this. Right, so instead of having the ability to jump off the boat and then dive down into the water, we're, we're just in the water now. This is... This is where we live now, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is where we live. So is there is there Lara's sonar ability? Yeah, uh, this area info has that got anything? Nope, that just gives us stats. Okay, the inventory. We've got backpack with stuff in. Okay, gear, weapons. Ah, so we don't start with all of the weapons. Fine, that makes sense to me. That does make sense in some ways. I did find it very, very weird how you start with basically all of your weapons in the original game, like the shotgun, the machine guns, and the assault rifle. Revisit locations an option here as well. Okay. Doesn't seem to be any sharks. Oh, what highlighted message did I miss there? Sorry about that. Uh, this port... Uh, was all I had for four years. Oh my god. And I can confirm that the actual PlayStation version is only slightly less visually bad visually. <laughs> also, there are no med packs. Health regen is full extent of healing. What? Are you kidding me? Reminds you of Silent Hill, the HD collection. Ah, uh, at least, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a sick, that's a sick burn there, my friend. I knew you like to challenge Steve, but this is masochism. Happy 10,000 subscribers, everybody. This is what I do for you people. So I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> this is this is just... So how much of the outdoor area is there going to be? Well, this, this room is completely new. I can tell you that for free. Am I going to be... Am I going to be Even picking more. stuff up to oh, then God. take it over to open this? Or is that just going to be completely negated? Now, oh, the jellyfish are kind of here still. The cardboard cutout jellyfish stand-ins. Or, oh no, there's one that's completely missing. Two, three, that are, oh, okay, if you just look at it in a certain way. My god, I feel so, I feel so sorry for anybody whose first exposure to Tomb Raider was this game. I feel really bad for them. My god. 
Okay. Is this literally just going to be one? Okay. I have a feeling I'm still going to have to uh, open some stuff. Am I excited for the Uncharted movie? Not really. I'm not really interested in the Uncharted movie. It kind of looks a bit... The casting's a bit whack. Thank you, Jem. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lindsay, thank you for the 10 bits. And hi, and Chimi, thank you for your couple of bits as well. They're in Croft Rider as well. Thank you for doing this. No, you're, thank you for turning up. Oh, bless you. Cat just sneezed. Jesus the jellyfish. Um, is this being emulated? Yeah, it's because I don't have a HDMI cable for my PS2 or any way of capture. Well, I've got a capture card, but this is just the simplest way for me to play it and transmit it to you as of this moment. It means I didn't have to buy the game as well. Right, okay. Those are emulator issues, are they, Hester? Okay. I should get a cat camera. I kind of do, but I, I, I think I should repurpose one of my... Because I've still got one of my old phones. I think I should repurpose that. Or, um... Is that a, is that a secret? Just... Just a fucking giant gold bar that she just puts in her backpack. Fine. Okay. I've still got my old, my old phone. I should probably repurpose. As an extra camera. Oh, Anastasia. Thank you. Okay, so we do have the the outer areas to explore. It's fine, it just makes this port extra jank. Which is all good in my book. I'm sure no one's gonna I think no one's gonna mind if the jellyfish are a little bit uh a little bit extra see through. Thank you for the couple bits there, Hi and Chini. There's another gold bar there as well. They're just dropped, like, casually in the middle of an empty space. It's not really much of a secret if you don't have to look for it. If it's just kind of there, then you can just pick them up and you'll be done with it. They should have used the 3D model of Legend, but with Underworld clothes. Yeah, I don't get why they had to make a brand new model for this particular port. How does this look worse than... Any other PlayStation 2 game that was released at the time. Okay. Awesome. That kind of works, I guess. There's no, like, full screen effects as, at all, so you can just about see bubbles coming out of, of her face. Hey. Right, where to next? <laughs> Uh, do you agree that this port makes Angel of Darkness look triple A? Uh, yes. Actually. Hands down, Angel of Darkness is way better than this port. Hands down. I don't think that's a very controversial statement, if I'm honest. At least that has facial animations, yeah. And more creative ambition. The secret is like when Rose from the Titanic dropped the necklace into the sea, some drunk rich, rich tourist dropped a gold bar. Yeah. Oh, blast. I appear to have dropped my gold bar casually into the ocean. I'm sure some would-be explorer from the future will pick it up. I think the effects work far better than on the actual PS2. If you see a YouTube video about it's working the hard way, you'll notice the difference immediately. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. But is it better than Red Alert? Um, I... Uh, I'll get back to you on that. Thank you for the couple bits there, Hi and Jimmy. Oh, according to the PCX2 website, this game has gaf graphical corruption issues. It uses a workaround to disable the effects and make it playable. Oh, really? Okay. Is that something that I actually have to enable, or is that something that's automatically enabled for this game? At least there's no sharks. No. Thank you for the five bits there, Jen. Thank you. Gonna have to go. Good luck with the post-game eyeball exorcism. <laughs> no worries. Thank you very much for the support. 
Doesn't this have a save glitch also? Oh, what? Pray tell, what's this save glitch that you speak of? Space. Uh. Hey, Angel Ash, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Uh. How does this puzzle work? <laughs> there, there should only be three bits that are... That are, oh, I don't know. There should only be three parts of the circle that you're meant to actually match up, aren't there? I am Trey confused. I feel stronger now. Ah, maybe it's the white bits, yeah. For some reason, I'm more drawn to the darker parts of it. For whatever reason. Is there a Stella emulator? Now that's just like calling Stella up and being like, Oi Stella, you there? Yeah, I need a bit of help. I, I've, I've made a boo-boo. Oh my god, just, just, just swim up, Lara. Swim up. Okay, I'll just press triangle to make you swim up. Well, I've heard that it's shorter than normal. I have heard that it's shorter than normal. They have cut a substantial chunk of the game out. Ta -ta -da -da -ta. There we go. I think on the motorcycle level, if you save, it messes up future saves. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Hype train is close, apparently. Got three minutes to fill that up. Oh, fuck. That was weird. Bit of a weird gra graphical glitch. Is this a PS5 remaster? Could you imagine if they brought this to PS5? And not the PS3 version? Yeah, you got the Golden Warcog. Excellent. Excellent. This version is about half as long as the 360 version. Maybe a little bit shorter. Wow. I mean, I didn't think Underworld was that long of a game to begin with, so the fact that short, you're saying that shorter is crazy. There it is. There's the Kraken. Oh, I can't wait to see Squiddy, what Squiddy Boy looks like in PS2 land. Thank you for the 100 bits there, Anastasia, and Moon Spirit. Thank you. Who here seen the, the trailer to Moon Knight? That was weird. She kind of tr tr teleported herself upwards. I thought that looked awesome. Looking forward to that show. Actually willingly eating these crisps was wrong with me. Laura Colden, I'm good. Not too bad. How about yourself? Thank you for the clip there, Blue. Hey, Anastasia, another gift sub. Holy shit. We got Uncharted Raider, who's like basically Twitch Santa. I'm going to have to call you Mrs. Claus at this rate. Holy heck, thank you. And thank you, uh... William, that mad guy. William, that... William? <laughs> William, that bad guy. That mad guy. Ah, this is the dynamic climbing climbing that they have actually managed to bring that over pretty 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 well, I'd have to say. It's still a little bit jank, but the fact they're actually able to employ that into this version of the game is pretty impressive. Hello there, Loopers. How the devil are you? I feel stronger now. Okay. Let's make a save. Format successful. Saving data. Okay. Let's just, um, let's just exit out for a second, because there must be something that I can do to make the graphics a bit better. 
PCSX Tomb Raider Underworld. Right, two seconds, everybody. So it's playable, which is good. <laughs> We've been able to play it. Um, what version? That's a good question. What version of the game am I actually running? So I am version USA. So it's going to be NTSC. NTSC. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Graphics. Okay. Uh, video GC. Plugin setting. Open GL. Um, hardware mode might have minor issues. Software mode is good, but a little blurry. The real problem is the f this is the camera flickering. Let's go for Open GL software. See if that does anything. Right. Resume. Resume, game. Resume. Wow. That looks even worse. For me at least. But that might have that might have done it. That might have fixed some of the graphical bugs, but we will see. Opera X Gamer Edition. Yeah, the only reason I got it is so you can actually control the amount of memory and stuff that um, it uses on your system, primarily. Team of War. Oh, God. Now we have PS2 visual jank. Yeah, so this is more the um, authentic experience, right? Okay, fucking hell. And that is the original version on PS2. Here we go, everybody. Now we're cooking on gas. Oh, God. Even with the lag? That's impressive. Whoa, hello. Oh, oh! What's going on with the camera? Why did it do that? Hello. Thank you for the 25 bits, Moon Spirit, and for the couple bits that hunt you. I mean, Lupis234 bits earlier, thank you, and Daniel with the 20 bits, thank you. I refuse to believe that a PS2 port... That this is a PS2 port, but I admit I'm gutted. This is a PS2 port. Your eyes are hurting trying to focus on oh my god. Maybe it's not going to be a good idea for me to run that then. <laughs> Let me just see if I can actually tweak that a little bit. Uh, interlacing. Uh, None. Bilinear, which is the PS2 version. Nearest, perhaps. Yeah, because it's actually running it at its native resolution. OSD. Nope, don't need that. Shader configuration, fine. Texture filtering. Uh, right, let's see if that's made it any any worse or any better. Okay. Uh, nope, that's actually made it worse, I think. That's actually... Oh, God, that's horrible. That is horrible. <laughs> oh, good Lord. The joys of emulation. Thank you very much for the couple bits there, Hein Chimi. Let's go back to... Let's go for fucking DX11. Why not? Steve! What? What's up? Shadow X Jaw. Ba 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 da ba ba. Space! Okay, that's a bit better, isn't it? So DX11 seems to be... Whoa! Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa uh, uh, okay. Whoa, this is... Yep. <laughs> Look at the way she's like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jumbling around all over the place. Okay. Well, as long as... God, even Keely Hawes can't stand the graphics in this. I've got balls of steel. Yet, strangely enough, more sophisticated. Rooms. My eyes, the goggles do nothing. World of mist. That would be Niflheim, the realm of the dead. Not Avalon exactly, but the Norse equivalent.
Where's the squid? Have we jumped ahead? I feel like we've, we've jumped ahead. Yeah, maybe it is a good thing I didn't use an actual PS2. Whoa, whoa, what's going on with the fucking camera? It's nice to know that there's consistency in the ports of this, like the camera in this particular version of the game is also trash. Okay, cool. Am I dying inside, Steve? Yeah, a little bit. I'm actually getting used to the heat now, as long as I just take my time. Right, so now I need to do something to... to weigh that down. How the fuck am I... Aha! Boosh! There we go. Right. Now let's give this a go. I feel Play Underworld on PC, it's much better. Yeah. To a, to a certain degree, yeah. But the best version of this game, I think, is to play on the 360, isn't it? It's the way she runs as well that still gets me. She looks like... <laughs> is my mother? She's got hands all kind of like... <sighs> oh, I haven't got... I haven't got sprint. What do you mean I haven't got a sprint? I've got a grenade button, so there is no Toby cam in this game. I am most disappointed. Let me fucking give me that sass. Look at this. Look at this fucking pose. Hang on. Can I replicate it? No, it's not going to let me do it again. She had. There we go. What the fuck is that sass going on? What are you all about, Lara? So like, come on. What the fuck are you doing? I need to play the game, Steve. Okay, fine. Play. We will play. Yeah, the 360 version is the only version with the DLC in the extra outfits. I am talking trash, Norsk, because it is trash. Sam! I'm playing Underworld on PS2, Sam! I need a stronger drink, Sam! We. Okay. You know, just in case you weren't sure that you needed to climb out of a pit that you just fell in, the game thought it necessary to point that out to you in a really obvious and pointless way. <laughs> just pull the camera back and show the Something that you could easily see before entering the pit. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do that. Oh, hello. Cinematic mode activated. Yeah, there's no Toby cam, so we we don't have Toby guard. She's been spared that embarrassment of having Toby guard perv on her while she's sprinting by getting the camera in as far as humanly possible towards her sphincter, her buttocks. I can't swan dive. I can't fucking swan dive. What? I'm pressing jump and circle. No, I can't swan dive. They've taken out her swan diving. What? You can, it's just really hard. Really? That's really bizarre, because I'm doing all the usual moves to get her to do it. Okay. New area time. Ugh, I'll harm you. Oh, don't tell me she's not strong enough to open these. Come on. You see, there we go. One lever down. Okay, we just can't move those because Lara hasn't had her Weetabix, everybody. Give her some space. Stronger now. Oh, oh shit, it's Mr. Squid. Damn it, you you had to do that at the most inopportune time. Oh, that's lovely. Love the lip syncing in this. 
<laughs> dun dun dun. Right, here we go. This is it. It's the squid game time, everybody. I feel stronger now. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, the layout for this area has almost completely changed. That's cool. Still got those two upper rooms, but the you notice that the left hand side and the right hand side of these this this big chamber has completely changed. You used to have you used to be able to actually get up to those areas from climbing into the corridors from there and there, but they're completely gone now. Yeah. I can see what people are meaning when they say that they skimped they skimped out on a few things. This port is graphically unsound. <laughs> you don't say! <laughs> okay. okay. Awesome. Nope. Steve. Sup. Sup, RS Ray. <laughs> what was that jerking animation she just did? <laughs> I didn't even tell her to do that. She just did that of her own accord. Whoa. The octopus does look very chill in this, doesn't he? I only listen to industrial voidscape. Let's just leave Mr. Octopus alone and see if we can just squidge on past him. Indiana Croft in the Chamber of Rickroll. Right, cool. We're up here. Ooh. So, there aren't any rooms on either side. Is it just going to be a case of me pulling this lever and dropping this on him. Okay, let's see what happens. So something is stopping that from happening. Okay. There's got to be stuff on this side. Surely they can't have skimped out that much, right? Right? <laughs> okay, so the fire looks a bit better. I think we solved the graphics issue with the fire. I think we sorted it. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 oh god. What is happening? My emulator has just gone to a complete standstill. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, god. It's the fire. What is going on? Oh, god. What is... Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright. I thought I'd fix that. Clearly, clearly not. You unsavory little shit. Um. No, that's not right. Run back to the fucking start and try again. Let's try that again. Interlacing, no, automatic. Right. Hey. Run back to the fucking start and try again. Hey, thank you very much for the follow and the sub there, Figarella. Okay. Steve of War. Oh, God! Okay, so it seems to have restored balance to the universe. Sort of, I think. I feel stronger now. It actually runs a bit smoother now. Kind of. Although it is still 100% jank. It actually does run a bit better now. Okay. So the squid is guarding the exit still. Laura just wants to move in super slow motion. Amazing. I mean, I'm not going to deny a woman what she wants, certainly. My question is just why? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh god, that's another crisp then, isn't it? Here we go, everybody. Let's go for a handful. There we go. Hmm. Thank you for the link there, Ray. That's the exact same one that I actually saw earlier. I'll keep that open just in case. And thank you very much, RafTS, for the follow. Steve! What's up, Nomad? 
I should make a YouTube video on all the bad ports of Tomb Raider. Do you know what? I've actually has had that as an actual idea for a video for ages. So I, I was going to do a video. I think I mentioned this on Derby. Yeah, I did. But I want to do a weird and wonderful ports of Tomb Raider video, like a compilation video. Because um, I've also got, uh, if I bring this up, uh, this beauty to talk about and play properly someday. So when I figure out how to stream Wii, Wii games, that's going to be next on the agenda, for sure. Right, let's go back up, shall we? I've got balls of steel. Wow, ah, whoa, what the hell? That was a weird, uh, like, jumping squirrel. <laughs> Fucking flying squirrel jump that she just did. Okay. Oh. Uh, hard part will be getting footage from the mobile phone smartphone ports. That's very true. Hey. Here we go. <laughs> Indeed, Poke Cat. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Ugh. <laughs> Do you know what, Shuniv? I actually didn't mean to do the trick, so I was just trying- I pressed circle to just, like, jump down. Wouldn't let me. Oh. What happens when I run out of crisps? Then the pain will stop, Croft Rider. The pain will finally end. Sephiroth. And Sephiroth will stab me in the bum. True story. That's the uh, deleted scene to FF7 Remake they didn't want to show you. But I say- Gay rights. Am I right? <laughs> okay. Please do the N-Gage port. Well, if someone can find me an N-Gage emulator and an ISO for that, then sure. Why not? Okay. What's awkward is on the interface, I don't have a marker to indicate what option I'm selecting. So I'm just having to guess. <sighs> All right. That looks like an entirely new area up there. Oh, uh, sorry. Starting my teeth. Hmm. And the camera see keeps wanting to go down for some reason. Hmm. How many bad ports of Tomb Raider are there? How long's a piece of string? I guess. <laughs> Hello, Lindsay. How you doing? Uh, right. I'm genuinely confused as to what I'm supposed to do in this section because I know what I need to do. But I don't think the game's going to let me do it until I've done something which I don't know what to do. Steve. This version is genuinely cursed. Hey. Go back to the lever in the room. Go back to the lever room. What did I do to make it so I can use the levers, though? Anyone want to fill me in on that nugget of information? Fine, thanks. Just getting beaten up by a tiny human inside my body. Ah, uh, the joys of being pregnant, I guess. Okay, dokie. You triggered a cutscene, and that's what I did to- What? 
But like the simple act of me triggering that cutscene was enough to make the levers usable again. Okay. That's a bit dumb. No, in fact, that's very dumb. Wow. What in the fuck would have ever given anyone the indication that that's where they need to go? What the hell? Wow. New toy idea, the Lara Croft stunt cycle. That'd be quite cool. <laughs> Someone's quoted me as saying, the joys of being pregnant. Steve of War 2022. Yes. Right, where is this going to take us? Sorry. Ah, okay. That's a really odd way of doing it. Like, really odd. How am I still alive? Okay. All right, then. Oh, look, there's gold. Another random gold bar. <laughs> Just yoink and put it in her backpack. <laughs> I just find that so funny. 127 viewers, let's go! Fucking go! I'm, not, I'm learning not to question a lot of things, Super Meat Hands. Huge gears. Of war! Dun dun dun. Everyone's favorite gold. Sewer gold, right? That is a really odd way of padding out the runtime. Is to, to, to shut off the normal ways in which people would have entered this room. That's honestly so odd to me. Like, from a design choice, I don't understand why they did that. The only thing I can think of, actually, thinking about it, is... Oh, the fall damage is still terrible in this game. Ah. Amazing. The only thing I can think of is why they did it is because they took out so much of this game that they had to pad out the runtime in any way that they physically could. And they just didn't care enough at the time to make it a fun or interesting way of padding it out. That's my analysis. Take it or leave it. Oh, that's a good point. Chocolate. That sounds about right. So this is something that we um, actually picked up from Lidl the other day. This is first flavor for this country. I think it's like remnants of Christmas, but these Twix ones, they're called Winter Spice, and it's chocolate and cinnamon. It's really lovely. Hmm. Right, here we go again. It's like eating Christmas. Essentially. Here we go again. I'm pretty sure the PS2 version of Anniversary had the, um, Had the torch, didn't it? Oh no, wait, Anniversary didn't need the torch, did it? Well, that was a weird way of jumping up, Lara. Thanks for that. <laughs> Whoa! And we grab this one. Of Lara's spider web. There we go. Lovely. 
Lovely. Oh, I've had the salted caramel um, Twix before. We've had those over here. They're amazing. Oh god, why did you do that? Now my tentacles ache. Oh, <laughs> so mean. And that was not a secret. I'm sorry. I am sorry. But if anyone who has stood here after like pressing that lever, pulling that lever, and then doesn't see that there's a gold bar secret there, just sitting there, I I would recommend an optician of some kind. Because you, sir or madame, need help. Team of War. Oh, God. I'm making calamari, Sam, in the most over-the-top way possible, Sam. Oh, I wish the sprint button was in this game. I really do. It will make traversing these corridors much less of a slog. Yeah, I wonder how many people you could actually feed if you chopped up the squid. Open says me! It's not the last time you'll see loading gates like this. Oh, joy! <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> Excellent. I look forward to it. I welcome death. Both hands. The sound mixing is all over the place. Like, the Lara's sound effects compared to the rest of the game's sound effects, for me at least, are all over the trough. Yeah, I can barely hear her climbing up there. But other sound effects are super loud compared to that. Whoa, hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Southern Mexico has quite a few loading zones in this version. Excellent. <laughs> Yay. I bet there's an interesting story behind the development of this port. I bet there is. And I bet most of it is... Eh, it was a paycheck, wasn't it? Right, here we go, everybody. All the lever, Croft! You assume about 2,000 people will be fed by the squid. Okay. Ah, okay, so we have to go up there to then shoot the things to then drop this. It's a shame I just can't shoot it from here. And then just drop with it. That would have been quite funny. Okay, right. I'm just gonna save, don't mind me. I feel stronger now. Thank you very much there, Moon Spirit, for the Croft roll. I'm sure the audience greatly appreciates that. Ow! <laughs> hey. Huh. Just going to reload that, just because it's probably going to be quicker than climbing all the way back up there. No. That's not right. Run I can't the fucking start. tell which option I'm selecting, game. <laughs> Give me a break. Wall jump. Oh, you mean that move the game hasn't told me about yet? <laughs> okay. I, f I forget that wall jumping is a thing in this game, you know? <laughs> Wait, why did it... I saved... I didn't save there. I... Oh, what? Oh... You gotta be kidding me. Why did it save me here? That's weird. Odd Molly Ollie's gotta go. No worries at all there. Thank you very much for um, joining me right. on this weird Run cursed journey. <laughs> Have a good Try one there. Again. Take care. Just making sure I remember that secret. Yes, it is. Never forget. Never forget. Never trusted Oddworld's manual saves, even on 360. Oddworld, there's a shout out. That was a good series of games, wasn't it? I've not played um, Soulstorm. Is that any good?
It looks a bit intense. Like way OTT with all the stuff that you have to do in it. Looks a bit overwhelming. Ah, yeah, save states, but I'm trying to do it like as if I'm playing on a console. I'm trying to be authentic, even though I'm playing on an emulator. Shh. <laughs> it's fine. It only saves the last checkpoint. Gotcha. Okay. No, I pressed... Oh, I need to give it more time. I keep rushing. This is an anniverse. Soulstorm is hard also. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Truly naff. Welcome. First time watcher. Well, first time chatter, probably. Tomb Raider at home. Yeah, this is Tomb Raider Underworld at home, this. Right. Let us do it. Ooh. Okay. No. Oh, for fuck's sake, camera, please work with me. Work with me, baby. Whoa. Right, here we go. You almost missed the PS3 version. Almost. Almost. Ah. So there is a hoop. I missed that. <laughs> the PC version isn't horrendous, but it definitely could be improved. <laughs> right, here we go. Uh, right. <laughs> Are you going to let me target the fucking chain? Oh my head, the fucking hurts. Oh god, why did you have to do that? Oh. <laughs> Notice how his death in this particular version of the game isn't that graphic. It just looks like he's just had a bit of a bump on the head. He wasn't like impaled through the eye or the brain or anything like he is in the original game. What does this do? PC version isn't bad, he's just not smart enough to get past the southern. Southern, southern Mexican area for some reason. Maybe one day I'll stream must stream yourself struggling with it. Why not? Why not? We build it, they will come. Right. Okay. He does look like a spleen, actually. Oh God, Jesus! Why game? <sighs> Would you believe me if I told you that I had let go of the thumbstick a good second before that happened? <laughs> There goes the cat. Okay, here we go. Wee. Ah, Sarah has returned. That would have pulled the platform higher to bring the chain down to expose the ring more. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, this is much better. Yeah, this is much better underwater than what it was earlier. I take back what, what I said. A little bit. Okay, cool. Oh, the lag, though. That's definitely... That's definitely console-related. Not emulator-related. Thor, the Norse god of <laughs> Whatever are you doing down here in the Yeah, the terrible one thing. According to the editors, Oh really? Thor needed okay. special Okay, cool. Sorry. <laughs> Could it be? Could it be? Ooh. Now we get to see 
Now we get to get um, godlike wankers cramp, so to speak. Let me just shut my window. Right. Excellent stuff. So, we've got to do some stuff here to put these things on the things to then get the other thing, right? Simple. Straightforward. How come I am already questioning everything? Can I move this? Can I push it? No, I can't push it. There must be some way of getting up there. Yes, triple six, the frame rates. The frame rate is what you're here for. The lack of any kind of ambient lighting as well. There's there's that. Yeah, let's try wall jumping. Ah, here we go. Lara can reflective wall jump towards narrow walls. Oh, uh. Let's ascend, everybody. Let's become the Tomb Raider. <laughs> hey, there we go. We did it. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> we did it, everybody. Okay. Now let's play Lara Croft Amazon Delivery Driver Simulator. R2 to throw, throw the object. Yeet! There we go. One down. Okay. Tomb Raider Ascension. Ah! Good one. Good one. I feel stronger now. <laughs> well timed. Well timed. Let's pick up the other box. The stream should be instead called Steve Play Cyberpunk 2077 PS4 Edition in 2008. <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077 D-Make. It does feel like a D-Make. This does, this does feel like an intentional fan-made D-Make. Like you see doing the rounds on the internet. Lara Croft Ascend to Vilcabamba. Every time I die, I've taken it, but I've just been casually So I've got that sorted. And now, is it still going to let us do the thing with the twisty rope? Yes, it is. How about that? And then... Boop! Nicely done. And now we're going to pick up... Oh my god, is that supposed to be Mjolnir? Wow. Well, not Mjol Mjolnir, Thor's Gauntlet. Put it on, Croft. Put it on. Wow. The timing on that sound effect there. That was that was oh, perfect. Powerful enough to level mountains. But how does all this happen? She be quiet. She might not notice we're here. Oh no! Put your hands on your head. Turn around. Slowly. Man, the motion blur they've used to try and disguise how how compressed these cutscenes are is just ridiculous. I don't suppose you'd be open to bribery. Yeet! Oh, this guy still looks douchey in this version too. He has an Instagram pout. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Yeah, that face, that fucking face is every Instagram thought that's ever been on the internet. Oh man, the audio for this as well. It's like, it's clipping for, for the way they've mastered it. So it's just like a wall of noise. Oh man, that's not good. Okay, cool. I feel Are there any gold bars around here looking for gold bars? Yes, thank you. Get in my back. Thank you. What was that run? There's a secret in that cutscene background that's not in the game. Ease. 
That explosion was Tomb Raider underwhelming. Ah, nice. Yeah, the PS2 version of Legend and, and Anniversary are actually all right. This one, for whatever reason, is just so bare bones compared to those two. It's ridiculous. Okay. Yeet. Spider crop. Spider crop. And look, another secret. Secret. You know, hidden in plain sight, like all secrets are, I guess. What's the cat doing? Oh, it's harassing the other cat. So I can just see Sarah going, Venti push, stop it. He is being a dick. Her words. Wee. <laughs> the way she just like full on just like jumps at it like a frog. I like that. Oh god, no, why? Oh god, the controls, man. It should have made a Tomb Raider 2013 on PS2. Could you have imagined how bad that would have looked? If this if this is anything to go by. Ow. There is a cat. Hello, Venti. Big dick. Big dick. Er, unhand me. One. Unhand me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a fast human. There we go. Put him in the cat box. <laughs> Good cat. He's still there. He is a very handsome cat. Yes, he is. He is a very handsome cat, is our Ventipus. Whoa! Why did it do that? Everybody liked the puss. The handsome adventures of Mr. Meowsles and the Steve of War. <laughs> what are you doing? Is it, oh, Sarah's playing with the cat. He's attacking her hand. Right, let's try this again, game. We've been through this. He has had enough. There we go. There we go. Just out of curiosity, what do you think Lara would have used to bribe the insta ho mercenary? Both serious answer and joke one. Um, serious answer probably would have been money. Uh, joke answer, she would have got her baps out. That's that's the long and short of it. She would have got either her baps out or her wallet. That's that, Those are your two choices <laughs> in, in this era of Tomb Raider. Baps or money. Sometimes they go together quite handsomely. <laughs> waiting for Nina, just waiting for Nina to button and be like, yes, yes, it does. I know those gold bars are like, what the fuck? And also the diving in this game, what the hell? Wait. That's the end of the level. All right then. Okay. Okay. Ah, yes. This 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 boat is full of seamen. I must investigate. They can't have all the fun, now can they? Croft away! Very slowly. Off to the tiny boat in the distance. God dear, she, there is a real distinct lack of emotion in this character model's face. And now we're here. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Thank you for the follow there, Gamersall77. I don't know. The Toby Cam came back for a fraction of a second before the universe decided to smite it. Oh, and we're now on the boat. 
We don't have to climb up the anchor or anything. We're just... Is the is the actual yacht there? Yeah, it's there. So why the fuck... Oh, okay. Whatever. It's combat time. Let's see how that goes. Is there any melee combat in this? Nope. <laughs> There's... Wow, okay. So there's no running up and kicking them, from what I can tell. Um, but there is acrobatics, which is good. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. I don't know what the fuck this water is. But it's gone from... I don't quite know... Oh. Is that an emulator problem or is that a game problem? I don't- I'd hesitate to say that that's an emulator problem. That looks like a game problem. It's like it's switching between two skyboxes depending on your positioning. Or something. Emulator, you think? You don't remember that? Oh no, Jay's in the chat. Can we get some Jasons in the chat for Jay? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, Sarah wants to know if your overlords, um, Jay, are in negotiating talks with Sony to be bought out. <laughs> Seeing as every company seems to be want to be um, owned by somebody. There is no melee, no med packs, only health regen. You get a secondary weapon, only one secondary weapon per mission. Uh, after this, it doesn't match in the cutscenes, and the secondary weapon has unlimited ammo. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Unlimited ammo, regenerating health. Is this the best version of Underworld, I hear you say? Jason. No. No, it really isn't. Jason. You can manually aim, yes. You can manual aim. Steve. You've seen better skyboxes in custom level sets. Yeah, I'd agree with you, Triple Six. Oh, come off it, really? Come on. This is a worse skybox than frickin' Chronicles. And um, Chronicles came out, like, years ago. Manuel aiming. Whoa, okay. Why are you not grabbing that ledge, Croft? Why? Oh, why? You can't grab that! Why? <laughs> Oh! Oh fucking hell, it's be it's because it's because I'm not supposed to do it the way that the nor Oh god. I'm supposed to do it a different way and not the not the normal underworld way of doing things. Right, gotcha. Game isn't that clever. Gotcha. Gotcha. Where's General Postman Pat? Oh with um Admiral Steve. Hagrid. <laughs> oh oh oh. Oh, is this a new cutscene? Yeah, this is... new? Don't you just love a fucking 15 FPS explosion? Gotta love it. Going down. Wow, that was anticlimactic. So that's where I came from. That's a dead end. Broken Martian gifted a gift sub. Holy shit, thank you. Want a Zebroinks and Broken Martian has resubbed. Hello, hello, hello. Sorry that I missed your notification earlier. I hope you're doing okay. Any gold bars here? Anyone got any gold bars in any lockers? No? Nope, 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 nope. Brought to you by Gary's Mod Style Special Effects. Basically. Oh god, what does Natla look like in this? Holy shit, please. Please be cursed. Please be super cursed. Too small. Only Lara can use it now. Until I kill her. Even that won't unbind the artifact. We're taking their water. Damn it! We'll pick this up again later. This is significantly less close-up shots of Amanda in this particular version. I've noticed. 
Who's Amanda? This specimen jar offers little in the way of amusement. So oh I my god, she's got farmer sideburns. What the fuck? If she, she all she's missing is like a fucking wooden pipe and a flat cap. Who's Amanda? Who's Amanda? Hey up, lad, I told you about Avalon. Choose your questions carefully. What do you know about my mother? The day is you and she found. I know it's supposed to be the side of her hair and stuff, but one, she looks about 20 years older than she does in actual Underworld, and two, they look like sideburns, like sideburns stuck to the side of her head. Ah, Richard found the wrong Norse Underworld. Your mother didn't go to Niflheim. And also, has she got extra, like, black stripes on her outfit as well, or is that just me? Why did, again, why didn't they just use PS2 Natla from Anniversary? The, the, oh god, the cat, mm, uh, beautifully cursed, isn't it? The stripes were white. Ah, okay. I did think they looked different. different, different. Couldn't get any words out there. She doesn't have hair. She has a Lego hair hat. Okay. Now we're escaping the ship. Oh, oh and the camera's doing strange things. How are they going to handle this segment in PS2? Just going to tilt the level slightly. Okay, cool. Oh, awesome. Cool. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, wow. Oh. It's just the music doing the heavy lifting for this. There's barely any sound effects or explosions to sort of like help add to the tension of this. Like give the illusion that the whole boat is actually coming down. Fucking hell. This is bad, man. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Come on, Lara. You can do this. This really doesn't feel dramatic to me in any way, shape or form. I don't know about anyone else here in the chat. But to me, this just seems really kind of nerfed. No, no, no. Oh, fuck. Ooh, a moat only chat. Interesting. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hey, thank you very much there for the follow there, Imperfect Boy. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. Would you believe me if I told you I was holding up? Probably not. <laughs> oh, that's it. That didn't look like the way out, but yeah, okay. Excellent. Good talk. Splish. There we go. First chapter of the game done in cursed mode. But she looks sunburned in this. Who decided to do like a bleach, an additional bleach bypass over the vid visuals of this particular scene? It looks horrible. I don't know who Samanda. Hello, Neen Speech again. I see you. I see you there. Ah, yes, the, the beautiful coast of Thailand. Beautiful, picturesque. Team of war. Oh God. None Pixelated to fuck. Down here. And if Father did explore this site, I see no sign of it yet. Who's Amanda? I still don't see how Thailand is connected to Viking. Or ruins under the meta hell. It's so funny how they got like a Windows XP video, like video call. <laughs> it's not even video. 
one of those remnants is still alive. Oh, so only one outfit to choose from, by the way. No pants. Just shorts. I would hate to be any of us. Oh, we got the Uzis, though. Awesome. I like. And here we go. Cool, so this is Thailand. Swim back to the boat. Really need a fucking is it gonna, is it gonna let me do that or is it gonna is it gonna invisible wall me? What do we reckon? Yeah, invisible wall. Boo! Who earns? Alistair sounds so weird. They all sound so weird. <laughs> it's not just Alistair. He looks weird in this game as well, just like even in the in the original version. He just looks very strange. What is going on with the sound mixing this? I can dive, can I? Ooh, can I? They've given me the ability to do that. Awesome. No, that's not right. Run back to the fucking start and try again. That's some jank ass jumping. Really, really is. Oh, okay. Whoa, okay. It's the frame rate more than anything that's putting me off. It's so juttery. No parrots, space. no plants. Nope. Full of space. That's what we are. We're full of space. Right, let's just save for a second here, shall we? Mem card PS2 was written. Uh -huh. Let me just see if there is anything that I can do about the sound in this. Volume settings. I feel strong. In-game music volume, cinematic volume, and sound effects volume. That's all we're getting. That's all the nuance this game can afford us. So we're just gonna have to put up with it, sadly. Find the lack of foliage disturbing, do you? Uh no, why did it do that? Why did it do that? Ah, why did it do that? Did they change Alistair in Underworld so he looks less like Toby Guard like he did in Legends? Do you think he looks like Toby in Legends? Okay. Significantly more hair, but I don't think the face is the same at all. Is that a common thing? Do people think that? It's the first I've personally heard of it. That comparison. I feel like Bill Nye at the start of Love Actually where he says, this is shit, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Basically, yeah. Christmas is all around me. I actually quite like that film. I think it's a good film. Oh, shut up, it is. Oh! Oh. Now that you've said it. You reckon, T? You reckon? Do you reckon Alistair was a Toby Guard self-insert character? Was was he a Gary Stu? Oh, step on me, Lara. <laughs> you don't know what Toby looks like, so you wouldn't know. Google him. It's worth a quick Google, isn't it? Worth a quick Google. Oh, fuck. Okay. He has brown hair and glasses, that's it for me. Fair enough. <laughs> oh. Look at this. Let's take a let's just take a moment to, to enjoy this uh this glorious vista. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it wondrous? Isn't it absolutely horrific? He doesn't have brown hair anymore. Have you seen a recent picture of Toby? He looks like frickin' Master Xehanort from Kingdom Hearts.
Is there a difference between the original and the cursed edition? Yeah. Um, the fact that this is on PS2 and the original wasn't, it was on a better console. And it's a much better port. The fact, the reason why this is the cursed edition is the fact that it's just, it's just such a bad port. Look at this. Look at this. This is, this is foliage to these people. What is, what even? What even? <laughs> How dare you insult the British Empire like this? Hello there. Hello, my good man. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking Lord. Look at this. And you can't blame the emulator for this. This is 100% intended. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. TR3 phonies look better and more photorealistic. Yeah. Tomb Raider 1 looks better and more photorealistic than this. Oh. And that came out in 96. Reborn in Shadows. I recognize that name. Where from? I, it's going to annoy me, but welcome. Thank you very much for the follow. Team of War. Oh, God. It does look like Garbo Strider. It does look like absolute Garbo. 100% pure trash. Um, did anyone else just almost start sobbing at how bad this is? <laughs> oh. Hmm, I don't know where you may remember me. I released an AOD mod, maybe that? Yes, that's where I've seen the name before. Yes, welcome. Welcome, welcome. A pleasure to have you, anyone who's putting in the time and effort to actually fix Angel of Darkness and make it better is a VIP in my books. How the hell are you doing? Welcome. Should do a screenshot comparison. I mean, there's not much to really compare. I think anyone with a passing knowledge of Underworld will be able to tell you how, how much worse this looks compared to the original. Wow, this is, this is horrible. This passed QA, you know, <laughs> this passed a quality assurance test. I've just seen the trees in the background. Look at the trees in the background. The tree silhouettes in the background don't even have bottoms. They're floating in midair. Why does this cam- why does this game's camera keep wanting to point me towards the floor? Like, literally, I'm not even holding the right thumbstick, and it's pointing me towards there. That's the resting central point of the game- the game's camera. Oh my god, man. This- this looks like- this looks like- and I don't want to diss the level building community. But this looks like a custom level set. And if this was a custom level set, using the Tomb Raider 1 engine, fair play! This would be impressive stuff. But here's the difference. And this is quite a crucial little detail. It fucking isn't. So that's the big distinction we're making here. This was made by a AAA development team. Whereas level sets are made by hobbyists in their in their bedrooms and their offices and places of worship. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Uh, did you hear about the sources that have confirmed that Bobby Kotick will be removed after Microsoft's transaction? So we have something to celebrate today. Is that actually confirmed now? Because that was a rumour that he was going to step down. Because I really hope Bob Bobby Kotick gets, like, ousted from that deal. I really- th I just generally hope that Blizzard's working conditions and toxic environment just improves. You know, and the toxic environment just goes. It's a better place for those people to work in. This game port is my supervillain origin story. He's the head of Activision, for anyone who's wondering who Bobby Kotick is. He earns an obscene amount of money, he looks like a gremlin, and he's an absolute... He's a sleazebag. There's the music, Nomad! Ha! <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Team of War. Oh God. <laughs> Team of War. Oh God. What the actual hell? Do you want to know what's funny? That that statue there, that statue right in the distance there, it it looks like it it's basically summing up everyone's reaction to this particular area in this port so far. It looks like it legit looks like it's doing it's doing. Oh no! That is doing that. It, that there sums up my thoughts on this port. I am in shock and disbelief at how bad this looks. This isn't even, this isn't even, you, you have to be next level, either lazy or bad or cannot be asked to come up with something like this. This is, this is, this is, this is almost something that transcends it being bad to come back round again to it being almost artistic in the way at how bad it actually is. This is this is the gold standard of shit. Okay? This is the gold standard of really crap ports. This was on PS2 in the apex of its life. Fuck me sideways. Okay, let's keep playing. Wow. Whoever played this as their first Tomb Raider, or is the, if this was their first exposure to Underworld, I am so sorry that you had to suffer through that, because that... That is just... That is just bad, man. That's horrendous. The music just helps accentuate how shit it is as well, because it's supposed to be this real kind of like breathtaking or inspiring moment where the camera pulls back and you're looking at this like really beautiful or inspiring sight. And yet all you're left with is just... In fact, fuck it. Fuck it. Let's do a comparison for shits and giggles. So we're going to put that there. That's going to be our little Tomb Raider Underworld PS2 window. Um, TR Underworld Thailand. There we go. Yeah, so here we go. So for comparison's sake, let's, let's just put this... I'm going to play with this next to this just for a second here. I just want you to I just want you to fully just you know like take in the beauty of this. This is just just look at how majestic this environment is. You know? Oh, I'm talking about the one on the left. No, the one on the right. Ugh, ugly. U G L Y, you ain't got no alibi. What in the Charles Dickens? The one on the right is a screenshot, mate. <laughs> oh, right. Let's go back here. Wow. This is like someone trying to copy someone else's homework and getting everything about their homework fundamentally wrong in the process. Uh, oh my god. Where am I supposed to go? This camera angle isn't exactly helping. Okay, that works. This is just majestic, isn't it? I missed a highlighted message again. Okay, sorry. Just wait until I see what they did to Mexico. Oh, dear lord, it gets worse? How could this get worse? How could this possibly, possibly get worse? 
I know this is going to be my famous last words and all that shite, but, like, I am asking a legitimate question here. How... How the hell can this get worse? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, cool. So the tigers go down really quickly. Uh, sorry to question, but I wanted to see if you know what... What the dog doing? What? What does that mean? <laughs> what the dog move it doing? What, what? Who is the dog? I... Do you mean the cat? Yeah, the enemies are going down super quickly in this version. Handsome kitty. He is in the box at the moment. If you want to know what the cat's doing, let me just uh, switch over to that. Turn that on. Here we go. He's currently asleep at the moment. Oh, my God, this game is beautiful. I'm glad I'm able to share this moment with some people. Someone has to see my, my suffering. <laughs> oh, God, this is just terrible. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Right to Hell Retribution looks better than this. and it has, This has less of an excuse. Yeah, that's very true. I, I was able to uh, obtain another suitable box. Yes, we were. We had something else arrive. You don't have a kitty cam? I do, but it's my phone. I can turn it off and on. But what I might do is I might rig one up. Because the thing is, before, he wasn't staying in one spot. So it was kind of, like, pointless to set up a, kim ki a, like a more permanent kitty cam. This way, it's a lot easier for me to do that. Cool. Um, your highlighted message. Do you see why I'm crying about this temple? Love the architecture and it's my passion. You know, it is history of Tomb Raider. Both my passions are genuinely disgusted at the laziness and incompetence of this port. I have not seen Mexico and quite frankly, I don't want to. But this literally almost killed my passion for Kima architecture. Oh, I'm not surprised. There you go. I read your message now. This is just beautiful. Whoa. Well, at least they got the dual targeting in this version. That's cool, at least. Oh, look, a secret! The secrets in this game suck. <laughs> IGN gave this a four, and you think it's too generous? Yeah, I would actually agree with you on that. This is this is a travesty. Just realized the HUD looks awfully pixelated. This is a PS2 game, you know. <laughs> I, c I can only do so much with emulation. A little kitty cam triggered by motion control could work. Be an interesting thing to try and set up. Steve is actually tired and annoyed. How can the port do this to such a pog champ guy? Oh, wait. <laughs> Yeah, TRA and Legend look decent on PS2. Hello, Laurie. Kind of feels like someone's first attempt at a level set design. Yeah, it does a bit. Like I was saying earlier, if this was a level set, this would actually be a fairly impressive thing to play through on the if they did this on, with the PS1 engine. But um, it isn't. It's made by a AAA development team. <laughs> Part of one. Damn you, Jenkins. You fucked up Tomb Raider Underworld's PS2 port again. I'm surprised no one asked for a HD version of this port during the uh, Q&A parts of the 25th anniversary streams. 
I should have asked that myself if I'd had the presence of mind to do it. That would have been hilarious. Uh, right. Okay. Thank you for showing me, game, that I need to climb out of a pit. I would never have guessed I would have stayed down here and made this my new home. So stupid it feels to to give you a not just a not just a camera shot, but a cinematic camera pan to show you something so basic. It's like square peg into square hole level of basic. Oh, here we go. It also shows, like, the, the amount of compression that they've had to put on the cutscenes well. for this, and they're not in-game as well, they're all pre-rendered. Would you believe it? It must be referring to the capital of Patala, the lowest infernal world in Hindu Yeah, they're blatantly pre-rendered, because that's why they're so... They're so snake. pixelated and so bit-crushed. And then you cut to the game, and it's actually a lot clearer than this. What I don't understand is why this they is this needed to compress this version so much. Oh, oh god. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh, lag. You would have thought they would have used the PS3 version for FMV. Yeah, there's that too. Maybe it was just... They couldn't compress it enough to fit on a PS2 disc, maybe? So they had to resort to this? I don't know. I'm just clutching at straws at the moment, man. It's just... I'm trying to come up with explain. Oh, shit. Reasons as to why this is like this. Without having any of access to facts. <laughs> this space I can imagine being a nightmare. Yeah, I can imagine it was. Jason. How was how this was acceptable to be released? I don't know. Yeah, Laurie. How was it? How, why, S S Jason? Why? Why did you let this happen, Jason? Oh, at least you still got the um, the um, the massive pee pee statues bumming each other <laughs> from from the original <laughs> Underworld. At least they kept that detail. PS2 was still popular, and money. Yeah, the PS2 is just... I'm not surprised about it being popular. At all. Oh, let's just put that in the guns, thank you. But who is still buying PS2 copies of these games at this point? That's what begs the question. If they were going to put money, like effort and money into making a PS2 port, this just screams lazy. Like, low effort. To me, at least. The smug faces of the statues are gone. Yeah. They are, actually. All the faces of the statues are gone, actually. All the detailing of the statues are gone. Pretty much. It's just, yeah. Blank, expressionless. But equally very horny statues there. <laughs> Did she just pick up the red button from a Sky Remote? Oh my god, I love that reference. Uh, right. Okay. I'm just being really thick, aren't I? Yeah, there we go. This is like the Silent Hill HD collection all over again. Two of my most beloved games in the series. And then you say... And then say you are the biggest fan. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad I played my first ever exposure to Silent Hill 2 was the PC version, but the enhanced like fan remake fan remaster edition that was a brilliant experience i'd love to play silent hill 3 actually it's a shame there isn't much of a modding scene for that game because that game could probably do with the spruce up i'm gonna pull the lever oh yeah i gotta put it back haven't i 
Okay, it's fine. I'll come back to that. I'm pretty sure I can do this one first and then I can come back. Right. I'm fairly sure I've not fucked it up. Entirely. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, please. Okay. The chat is going very quickly. 110 people watching, which is incredible. Incredible stuff. So forgive me if I miss any messages, is all I'm saying. <laughs> Silly Steve. Tricks are for kids. You bought this from CEX back um, when it was £3.50. Still too much. How much does this go on eBay for nowadays, actually? I'd be interested to know that. PS2 had 32 megabyte of RAM. That might be the case still compared to what they actually achieved with Legend and Anniversary. Yeah, I know. No excuse. They could have easily done this. Easily done this like Anniversary and um, Legend were. They just needed more incentive to do it. That's what it was. Silent Hill 3 is probably the best in your opinion. It does have mods to fix, mod to fix it, but I can understand why it happened. Point me in the direction of them mods. We'll do it for Halloween. Alrighty then. <laughs> uh, according to Jay, the engine had moved a lot from Underworld, but no space for optimization, so given to Bugs Monkey to try and get it running. Wow. So they didn't know what engine they wanted to use for this particular version. They didn't want to stick with what worked. No? Okay. On eBay, it's around 10 to 30 euros? What? 30? Good lord. 30 euros for a physical copy of this travesty. Wow, that's too much. That is way too much. 25 bucks in America. What is going on? Someone sold their copy for 12 quid. Fuck. Here we go. You know the words. Alrighty then. Ah, yes. Now we can find the great white bat. Chicago. Yeah, the Komodo dragons are also missing as well. They're gone, seemingly. <laughs> Perhaps the best lizard. Perhaps the real lizards were the friends we made along the way. Maybe, Preslin. Maybe. Between this one and, Ain and the DVD version of Angel of Darkness, which one do I find worse? I find this one worse, and I'll say why. And... The reason why I find this one to be t like to be particularly worse is because this is a level of incompetence that not even like Angel of Darkness could reach. At least, at the very least, with the Angel of Darkness DVD game, it was a game that set out to do one thing, and it achieved it, and that is to turn. The Angel of Darkness somehow into a de interactable, interactive DVD experience. And they accomplished it. As as jank and as funny as it is to play, they at least managed to accomplish what they set out to do. This, however, it had a budget, it had a team, it had an engine, it had a complete myriad of mechanics that they needed to get right. Oh, fuck, I've fucked this, ain't I? And they have pretty much failed in most, by most accounts. I mean, you can play it. That's what I will say, you can play it, but what does that really mean? At least with the Angel of Darkness DVD game, it's its its own beast. It, it's, it set out to do one thing and one thing well, and I think it accomplished it. Yeah, it's a bit jank and it's dated, but come on. Like, come on, man. Also, it's a significantly cheaper thing to find on eBay. I've got, I've got a freaking copy of that thing. Look at it. I now physically own this. I own it on Duvde. 
and that cost me like probably four quid or near enough. It's dead, like dirt cheap. Uh, there's an offer on a 160 euro version for a brand new version with the plastic on. Why? 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 Okay. I think you've seen that in Poundland, really? Well, this was from Music Magpie, would you believe? Uh... Oh, okay. Hey. Yeah, it kind of does make... It's kind of make you wonder why they even bothered with this particular port, you know? That's not the reflective side? Oh shit, you're right, aren't you? Come on, Lara, move it. Move it, sister. Yeah, you're right. That's right, it's all coming up Millhouse now. It's all coming back to me now. It's, uh, is it Celine Dion who did that song? I would love to know what the budget was for the development of this particular port. I would love to know the figures for that. Ah, here we go. Don't worry, Steve knows how to Tomb Raider, just about. Just about, with your help, obviously. <laughs> A single penny. Three, three dollary doos. One lira, one euro, one yen. <laughs> Come on, up. And that's what an in-game rendered cutscene looks like, everybody. That's probably why they went with uh, pre-rendered compressed instead. Wow. So majestic. You actually managed to complete this full game on PlayStation back in the day after much effort to keep going. You do have fond memories of it, though. Fair enough. I mean, there are better versions of this game. But if you manage to have some kind of attachment, form some kind of attachment to playing it, then more power to you. What is this room? This is new. Whoa, what the? Oh, there are the lizards. Okay. Trying to find a budget, nothing so far. God, this really hurts the eyes, isn't it, watching this? Wow, okay, cool. Thanks, game. <laughs> that was so underwhelming. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Asserting dominance. The lizards are here, everybody. Hmm. Pardon me, everybody, just refueling. People complain that anniversary was tunnel slash corridor fest, but look at this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. The architecture here is different. It's similar to the Niflheim ruins. Press the wrong button. Was that cutscene really necessary? Apparently so. Apparently so. This place looks structurally weird. <laughs> oh!
Thank you very much there for croft rolling the audience. JP Ward, oh. hello to you, good sir. Hope you're doing okay. Oh, what's through these lag lag fest of doors? They could have just had her saying the line whilst walking through the hallways, right? Rather than dedicating an entire cutscene to her saying it. Oh, I wonder how they're going to handle the um, gauntlet mechanics in this, if at all. Okay, here we go. Okay, cool. We still get to move stuff. There's no glowy effects, though, except on her hand. But that's to be expected, I think. Actually, Steve, isn't she silent when in gameplay, hence the cutscenes? I mean... Hey. Is she? She does sometimes just speak to herself when she's walking into new areas, though. Pretty sure. I'm just thinking more from, like, if I was developing this game and I needed to make that line fit in somewhere. Because those cutscenes were so close together, why not just cut one of them out and just have it as, like, a non... like a non-diegetic line delivered by Lara as she's running about. It's so compressed, isn't it? This was here long before the Upper Temple was added. proto Norse rooms again. My son, your treasures here and far. Not that you can make this them out because there's so much compression, the wall is just like a blur. And the mighty <laughs> are protected by the dead. There we go. Keep your it's a bit better. Are subdued. But the map's a little been bit destroyed. better. And recently, if one of Thor's gauntlets was here, it's gone now. Is that Uncharted Raider I see in the chat? Natla, I see your goal and I'm your puppet no longer. Richard James Croft. Father did this. Yes, he did. Oh, JC. Strange. Father never used his middle initial monograms to avoid confusion with his father. Unless. That's where you hid the artifact. You sly old fox. Now, if I can just make it back to the boat. Is it going to let me do this particular part of the game? Yes, it is. Okay, so we do get to do this part where we move around stuff. With mind bullets. Mind powers. Somehow. God, the lag is just... You silly old... You silly old bastard. Ow! Damn it. Alright, now I actually have to eat one of these. Uh, go for a nice big one. There we go. Oh, eating what, Uncharted? Uh, these. Trinidad Scorpion Crisps. They are spicy! Quite nice, actually. Once the spice wears off. Right. Let's try this again. <laughs> you would have made um, her saying silly old fuck a ringtone if she'd actually said it in <laughs> as part of canon. I think I would have too, to be fair. That would have been hilarious. Oh, Winston, you stupid old bastard. Right, here we go. Oh, we do get the runes. Okay. Although it might be be because of the emulator that they've just disappeared. Oh. <laughs> hmm. I wonder. Don't worry. It's only paused. We can just make some changes here and there. Of software. Okay. Steve. Ah, okay. It's gonna be. It's gonna look a little more cursed, a little more jank, but here we go. Ha. Ha. 
Excellent. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, the runes are back, but the resolution's gone down. 12 lot. Thank you for the six bits there, Lupis. Thank you. Six bitties. That cat. It does look a little better, but not not by much. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like polishing a turd, really, at this stage. Whoa! Thank you very much there for the five bits. Jason message. Okay. Jason! What's Jason said? Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, trying to think of how to explain easier. iOS versions, um, stay with me. Over time, it looks... Wait, where was your original message, mate? Oh, I hate sometimes scrolling through chat to try and find messages. It's it's an absolute nightmare. Uh, you cannot put current logic into why the port was done. Remember, this is... This was IDOS still, I really need a fucking and Starbucks, with Jonah. months we were bought by Square. Wonder why? Trying to think of how to explain it easier. iOS versions, um, stay with me. Over time it looks and does similar stuff on Surface, but every new version they cut older phones off supported list. This is what happened here. The game engine had moved on and PS2 was really no longer able to support it. The decision had been made long in advance to support all platforms would expected an agreement with sony in place etc so had to do it just to make something work wow that sounds like a real gorilla hodgepodge of a job there thank you for letting me know there gunsy via the medium of bits okay yeah winston is still trying to escape the freezer. You can stop him by putting any bits towards the channel. That's how it works. That's how you trap your old butlers. Right. Where the fuck? I am genuinely trying to remember how to do this because I know I'm supposed to grab it and move it around, but I'm just trying to think back to what parts of this I can actually move around. And what bits I can't. Yeah, that blue list looks terrible. It's got like a faux glow to it. Like they've added like a bloom effect or something. I was right the first time. I was like, yeah, I thought so. Here we go. Winston looks like he's going to escape. Oh no. How? Oh no! Oh, there was a kill plane halfway down there. That's kind of lame. Thank you for the couple bits. Back you go, Winston. Back you go, swine. I guess the devs had to start from the PS3 and start cutting stuff, but couldn't afford to get too creative due to budget and deadlines. Yeah, sadly, it seems to be the way. I kind of guess that's probably what would have been a main factor for it, but... I'd like to know for sure. Hey, Uncharted Raider, thank you very much for the 10 bits. And Angel Ash for the 25. Got Daniel there for the 10 bits as well. Cutscenes remind you of a shit PSP port. Yeah, does look like it, doesn't it? And he's got to go. Good night, don't let the bad ports bite. I will try my best, same to you. Thank you for joining for what you could. I hope to see you on Thursday. More War of the Worlds on uh, on Thursday, so be sure to tune in. It's going to be good. The Larest of Us, as I like to call it. Get it? <laughs> it's a terrible joke. Uh, huh.
Go do a janky jump. Nope. Nope. Couldn't do that. God damn it. Yeah, I've got to get to the other side, haven't I? Got to get to the other side. Oh man, the camera. I'm debating whether or not the camera in this is better or worse than the one that's actually in PS3 and the world. <laughs> and the PC port as well, obviously. So I grab it, dip in underneath it, go around to the other side. Jobs are good. Camera catch up to what I'm doing. Oh no, I'm not not big enough. Oh yes I am. Okay. Oops. How did I celebrate 10k? Um just by spending time with my mates. It was my mate's birthday on Sunday, so we ended up just sort of having a bit of a kind of like ledge night. Watch watch Star Wars A New Hope. Like a Disney Plus watch party. And um, play some Rocket League and drank. Yeah, just like, just spending some time with my friends and my family. And obviously doing this, this is part of what my way of celebrating with you guys, I guess. <laughs> But um, I am going to be doing something quite radical to this place in the next month. I'm actually going to be redecorating it. We're going to be getting some new furniture. We're going to be repainting it as well. And um, yeah, completely redoing this office, apart from the desk side of things. Hey, Rap wins. Hello, buddy. How you doing, you legend? Look, chicken legend. What's the difference between the cursed edition and the normal one? It's just my jokey name of like for the PS of the PS2 version. Maybe I shouldn't have called it that because you're the second person that's been like, "What's the difference?" There isn't. Damn it. How you doing? It's not in the center enough. So let me push it. Okay, so that's all the way over there. Brilliant. Uh, is it true that Disney Plus have released the unaltered versions of the original Star Wars trilogy? If they have, I've not seen it. So I think that is unfortunately false. To be honest, the versions that are there at the moment, they're they're um they're pretty good. 4K transfers, they're better than what we got on the Blu-ray, color grading wise. Yeah, they still have some of the annoying changes on there and stuff, but what can you do? Okay. That'll do. But I know there's a fan project which has remastered the original like film print versions of the original Star Wars cut unaltered, which you can seek out. Worth doing. And I am Thor no longer, it seems. I wonder how he charged it up again. Shaking it like a shake weight. Not your bra, right, so we're on the way out now. Oh, bag. Can we get doppelganger tonight? What, in 10 minutes? I don't think I'm going to do Croft Manor in 10 minutes. Very much doubt that. But we are going to continue this, for sure. It won't just be tonight's session. There'll be another one on Tuesday. Huh. Got it. Man, these graphics suck, don't they? It's even worse for me having to play it on a 14, 1440p monitor. And the resolution is sub HD. Not not good at all. Not very good at all. Uh huh? 
Nope. What's happening on Thursday? Um, we're continuing our playthrough of the level set War of the Worlds, that one that's been in development for like 10 years and came out recently. It's brilliant stuff, really atmospheric, like way better technical -wise, technicality wise and visually wise than this trash. <laughs> this dumpster fire. <laughs> yeah, you should definitely check it out. It's awesome. Uh, huh. It's just running at sub 10 frames a second. Wouldn't be surprised. Not be surprised if that were the case. I climb the wall next to the. Well, let's get that. A try. Yeah. It's one of them. Is it? It's one of them. Any trolley is better than a shitty port. Apparently, according to Daniel. We. Oh, what? Is that just... That has, that's just fallen down now. Okay. Yeah, the exit's down there, isn't it? But the door's, the door's shut. Yeah, the door's... Where's the other exit? Is there another exit that I'm... clearly missing? It might have glitched. Oh, please don't tell me that. Please don't tell me it's glitched. Oh no. I think it might I think it might have glitched. I'm not going to be able to escape. I might just have to drown myself. Restart from the last checkpoint. Can I just reload? No, it's probably going to put you back in it. Fuck it. No, that's not right. Run back to the fucking start and try again. Okay. Let's just skip this a moment. Yeah, this ray, it would be quicker for me to just jump to my death in the other end, wouldn't it? Fuck okay. hell. Let's do that then. Ah! And. Boosh. There we go. Right, let's try this again, shall we? No, that's not right. Run back to the uh, start and try again. Yeah, that is legitimately not opening unless there's another switch that you're not Membrane or something. Have I soft locked this game somehow? Oh, amazing. I have, haven't I? We. I 
The thing is, though, I held on to it until it completely stopped, and um, it forced me off. Remember you... Maybe you missed something to climb onto the wall next to the thing? Here we go. Wow, okay. Okay, we're through. I had to wait for it to make a noise. Well, at least we didn't soft lock, that's good. I like to think that's not down to the emulator and actually down to the port. <laughs> I feel stronger now. Should be nearly done now. And we're at the boat. There we go. Brilliant. <laughs> Find anything? There was a map, but father destroyed it. Well, the acorn certainly didn't fall very far from the tree. He did it deliberately to keep the information from Natla. But I'm sure he recorded everything first, and what's more, he found Thor's other gauntlet. Where did he put it? Right under your nose. Oh, look, there it is. <laughs> yes, let's go, Majestic. <sighs> it's so lame, isn't it? It goes on for just a few seconds too long, that cutscene. Uh, right, so we're in Cough Manor. We save, and then we're going to continue this next Tuesday. My apologies, Lady Croft, but I have not tended to the crypt. Why didn't you ever tell us this was down here? Yeah, I wish I still didn't know. You know what? I'll wait up here. I did warn you that playing your music so loud... You unsavory little c**t. Sorry, I'm just in awe at this. <laughs> Thank you much for the stream, Steve. Been nice to be back. Yeah, and it's nice to have you back, Nain. Hope you're doing okay. This is creepy. She's gonna unearth this game, this very coffin. Wouldn't that be very meta? What makes you think it's here? Father signing his name with all three initials was a clear reference to my grandfather. Light, please. Aziz, light. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, Hitman 3 is out on Steam. Two days, nice. Alright, cool. Let's just save this. So I've got proof. Yeah, and it's rendered the menu markers as well. Interesting. Okay, cool. Wow.